Okay, so I am all ready to make my clay tree. I have all my things. I have my base. I have 40, actually not 40. I was gonna make one more. So I have some um, chunks of clay here. I'm gonna make a long snake. Then I should have enough little tabs to make. Okay, you're gonna roll that to about a half an inch. Then I'm using a stick to cut the clay with. And then I'm just gonna put these all up here. Okay, so I have my cone. I have a plate that has my name on it that I'm gonna use in a little bit. And I have my slab. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of move these out of the way and roll my slab. I have a piece of string that measures how long the slab needs to be to go around the base of the cone. Pick up your slab and your cone, and you're going to put the slab around the cone. It fits pretty good. Okay, this is going to add a lot of strength to the the base of the cone, of the tree as we make it. And then you're going to take your fingers, and you're just going to bring. the clay up onto the cone. Okay, once you have that, I would like for you to pick it up and see if you can write your name with the sharp stick on that base. Even if you can just get your initials, that'd be fine. Okay, put it back down. Then we're gonna start working with our um, little things here. So I'm gonna this I'm gonna make this a little pointy at one end and flat at the other. Pointy, flat. Pointy by pinching, flatten with my other hand. Okay, these are gonna go around, starting at the bottom. Pointy flat. Pointy flat. Okay, now the pointy end is going to go at the bottom, and you're going to pull up as. Oops, I think I did that one backwards. Okay, so as you add them to the base, just mix them in with the clay. This is nice soft clay, so we really don't need another, we don't need to score and we don't need to use slip. Okay, now I don't have, didn't do enough to go around. Pinch, pinch, press, pinch, press, pinch, press. skinny one. Okay, on my next row, I'm gonna do the same thing. Pinch, press, pinch, press, pinch, press, pinch, press, pinch, press. Okay. 
So all you're end up end up doing all of these. So you could just go ahead and do them all, and you would could work pretty fast putting on the rows. Which I think I will just go ahead and do. So later we are gonna um, manipulate the clay that's already on the cone to be more tree-like and you can add uh, textures and things. Okay, so I'm gonna move this back over here. So these need to go on um, the next row, but you're doing the exact same thing. And you're working, and you want to go between, if you can, between the ones below. Kind of like bricks. Oops, wrong way. Well, if it's not perfect, it's all right. You're just working your way up the cone. Okay, now I have two rows on. Then I'm going to continue uh, working. Yeah, this goes faster if you already have them prepared. Now, if you want to put it on your plate, it might be easier to spin. Kind of using that as a lazy Susan, sort of. I'm not going to have enough, so I'll have to make me some more. Okay, but pretty good, pretty close. Okay, move that aside. Roll me another snake. Get my stick. Pinch and press, pinch and press. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be getting up close to the top. Then what you want to do is you're going to take three, go 
go ahead and put three together, kind of like that. And then you're going to push it down over the top. And you can push it down and point, make a point. So now you have a pretty nice evergreen tree. At this point, so you can do uh, several things. You can take all those points and kind of bring them pointed up. And this is where the plate kind of comes in handy because it's easy to spin. So you can shape them so it looks like an evergreen tree. And I'm gonna go kind of fast um, and I'll probably go back later and work some more but I just wanted to show you so you're just pinching it and making it curl up Okay, and then you can also take your sharp stick and you can add some, <laughs> it's kind of funny, uh, you can add some, some texture, like little needles. So you can sit and manipulate this till it looks exactly the way you want it to look. Okay, I hope you have a good time. Thank you.